This is your glamorous residential master bath. This is the, you know, all the bells and whistles, very Zsa Zsa Gabor, and just kind of trying to show how you can use sophisticated products and things that aren't marble to create a very, you know, sophisticated and kind of glamorous space. The laminum is, is very new, and again, it's a very thin product. It comes in very large sheets, and as you can see, we're doing the walls, plus we're also doing the countertops, and they can do a mitering um, application, so it looks completely seamless. A lot of pre-work was done and you know little things happen like my mirrors that are going to be installed are a little bit larger so we had to do some things to where the we made the wall where the mirrors are just a little bit taller and you know things like that that's construction it always happens it's a, a boutique hotel uh, bathroom if you will and we used our large porcelain panels and patricia with tvs design did a beautiful display using three different colors from our one collection they're five foot by ten foot large porcelain panel panels on the back wall, you'll see the uh, bright white, plain series, thin porcelain tiles. And in the middle, you got an accent feature wall that was cut in, displaying the book match veining and the accent pieces as well. Obviously, uh, installing the five foot by 10 foot uh, thin porcelain tile panels is, is, uh, is a challenge of its own. But uh, the designer, Patricia with TVS Design, wanted, she did not want to use any kind of external treatments other than just mitering all the corners. Honestly, we wanted to do something that was unique and kind of clever with the material because it's a very simple and elegant material. So what we wanted to do was juxtapose the idea of actually these angles and kind of bringing that in. So it's this play between modern and classic. But I uh, had, had a lot of challenges to work with. Got to some skilled craftsmen in the background doing the work, so really had no doubts that it could be done. The idea for this was to have a uh, five-star resort type bathroom, and we worked with Florum, a uh, tile manufacturer that manufactures here in the U.S. Uh, they gave us a suite of tile that uh, they wanted to display, and we designed around that to make it uh, fit the space. They have two series. One is the Charleston series, which you can see is the distressed wood look back here, and then another series is Mansion, which is a little more of a typical porcelain, kind of a stone look. So that's what we've done here, giving it kind of that distressed look ev everywhere on the walls and um, kind of filled in some other areas with the stone look and down. Our designer was unable to uh, commit to the project, so as you can see over here, it'll tell you that we were the first uh, showcase to ever be fully designed by the contractor and the uh, manufacturer. The one advantage that we have had is that being the designer, we can make the ultimate decision. So if there are some changes throughout the project that need to be made, we have the capability and the authority to make those. It's pretty difficult because it's a much faster pace than what we would typically work in, a little bit longer hours. And uh, we have a really great crew here and uh, they really just, hands down, they know what they're doing so well that it, it's really kind of been a little bit easier than we probably anticipated coming into it. The, the vignette, it's a, a resort bath and it's a designer here in Orlando who I hadn't met before, but she's been a joy to work with. And uh, it's, it's been a very pleasant experience just because her layout was very thoughtful. She went through it very thorough. We're using Italian tiles uh, only, and I'm installing today, as a matter of fact, a large format tile, which I have never done before, so it's a new experience for me. And I've never used the cutting tools before. I've never used the setting materials, so that's a, that'll be new this afternoon. The inspiration behind it was like a California rustic modern, so that's why you see like a lot of the, you know, the distressed wood mixed with stone, and then you get the modern by this like very sleek uh, white tiles from Marca Corona. It's a little intimidating, it really is, but like I said, we've been having a blast, all of us. It's been a fun week so far.